Today we're gonna highlight one piece of equipment I wish I got sooner. The foundation of screen printing starts off with a great screen. The way to get a great screen is dialing in each step of the screen prep process. Reclaiming, drying, coating, drying again, and finally burning your image. When setting up your dark room, there's three things you're gonna wanna look for. Number one, is that environment or that room, is it clean? Another name for a dark room should be a clean room. You wanna make sure that there's no uh, random air flows going in that doesn't need to be in there that's gonna be kicking dust, particles on your screens after they get reclaimed. Two is lighting. You're gonna wanna make sure you have the proper light safe bulbs throughout your entire dark room. And three is the overall humidity and temperatures throughout that room where your screens are gonna be drying. When I was in the garage, cleanliness was extremely hard to maintain because I had a lot of variables happening all the time. One being my car was constantly moving in and out of the garage on a consistent basis, bringing in dirt, dust, particles just flying around in the air. I remember the last winter I had in the garage, it was so cold, I actually had to bust out the salamander heater, which was blowing dust everywhere. It was just really hard to contain that environment. Then I moved into the new studio and was able to contain the elements a little better. Um, that's the reason why I keep my studio so clean. However, with each space, you have a new problem. Unfortunately, our new dark room is in the same room where our furnace is, and our furnace sucks in air, and no matter what I do, change the filter every day of the week, dust still gets in there somehow and gets on my screens. So if you guys have seen uh, what I do with my screen racks, I actually purchased a plastic cover to go over them just to keep out as much dust as humanly possible. I actually put a screen that is coated um, that I don't care if it gets messed up at the bottom of the rack to prevent dust and all that from flying in. And even with all of that effort, dust and fibers still found a way to get on my freshly coated screens before they dry. I've tried all the experiments. I've tried coating all the screens, putting them in the rack with the cover over them, and like, yeah, no dust is gonna get on them, come in the next day, and none of the screens are dry because there's no airflow. I've also mounted fans inside the racks within the cover to like get some airflow to try to dry. Nothing worked. <laughs> there's always dust. And then, finally, I got a screen drying cabinet. Mm. You just take the screen, you, it's dry. Ooh. It's literally changed the way we do screen prep. I can wash out a screen, totally degrease it, it's wet, wipe off the edges with a towel, throw it in the screen drying rack. It's dry in 10 minutes. After those 10 minutes are done, I can pull those screens out, set them up at the coating station, coat them, put them back in the cabinet. Boom, they're done within 20 minutes. And the beauty of it all is that there's no pinholes, there's no dust. I can put the artwork on my exposure unit and look at my beautifully clean coated screen. It's pretty stinking awesome. This is one of my older screens when I didn't have the drying cabinet. Um, and all I did was I coated this and put it in the rack and did my best to contain dust and fibers from hitting this screen. And this is the finished result. You got just hair, you got little fibers and dots throughout the whole thing. Unfortunately, that's what we've had to deal with until I got the drying cabinet. This is a screen that I reclaimed, dried it in the cabinet, pulled it out, coated it, and put it back in the cabinet, and just sat back and forth. There is hardly any dots, dust, hair on the screen. Um, of course, 
Every screen's not gonna be perfect because that's unattainable. We've gotten much closer to getting that great looking screen to create that great looking print. Gone are the days that I have to wait 48 hours for a screen to be dry, ready to go. I can come in the studio, wash a screen, coat a screen, burn a screen, all within an hour's time. Again, the screen is the foundation of screen printing. If you don't have a good screen, you won't have good prints. I know it's a bit of an investment, but looking back at all the problems I had with dust and containment, I really wish I would have invested into a screen drying cabinet a lot sooner. I hope that helps. If you guys have any questions, send us a DM on Instagram, shoot us a comment. Let us know if you have any questions on our setup. We would love to help you out. We will see you in the next one. Arf!